preocupación de muchos periodistas y muchos en el mundo del boxeo que te han lastimado bastante en las últimas peleas. ¿Tú crees que tú, tú todavía tienes más que dar para el boxeo? ¿Cómo te sientes? ¿Cómo te has sentido en el gimnasio? Seguro, no, yo me siento muy bien. Este, lo puedo demostrar con hechos el día 10 de octubre. Yo creo que todavía siento esa espina clavada donde yo puedo dar más en este deporte. Creo que lo, lo, lo mejor oportunidad que tengo para hacerlo es el día 10 de octubre. He says, no, no, you know what, I still have a lot of life left in boxing. In fact, it's like a niche. I have like a niche, and you know what, it's a niche I want to scratch, and, and uh, I'm going to prove it on the 10th that I'm still, I'm, I'm still capable of so many things. Was he worried that he was never going to be able to fight again? I mean, estabas, okay, por, okay, por la lesión en tu ojo, tú, estabas preocupado que nunca más ibas a poder boxear? Sí, sí, pues eso fue un golpe muy duro. Yeah, it was a, it was pain, it was a, it was a very painful. Lo supe superar, este, le puse muchas ganas, tuve mucha confianza en que yo iba a poder regresar y, y así retirarme con el Dios siempre lo sabía. Había valido un ring y no por una lesión. Yeah, I mean, obviously it was something that worried me. It was something that was very, very uh, wor wor worrisome. Uh, but now, obviously, I feel so much better and I want to retire on my terms. You know, I don't want to be retired because of an injury or something. I want to retire. After a fight, after a big fight. Did he, was his eyesight ever threatened? Like, was he going to lose his vista estaba en peligro? Ah, uh, pues... No, no tanto como en peligro, pero el, el doctor nos, nos decía que nos quedamos aquí a darle preocupación porque si venía otro, otro desprendimiento después de una fase de los peores, pues desafortunadamente iba a eso a frenar mi carrera porque era algo que mi resina no estaba lo suficientemente fuerte como para estar pegada a la No, there was never a worry about the site. The site was always okay. It was going to be okay, it's repairable. But, you know, what we were worried about and the doctor was worried about is that he wouldn't be able to sustain any punches or anything in, in boxing. And he had three surgeries to repair it, and finally they got it right and everything's fine now. How does he, how does, when did he finally get cleared by the state, and how does he know that his uh, eye can withstand the rigors of boxing? When did he get cleared by the state, the state of California? ¿Y cómo tú sabes, cómo estás seguro que puedes sostener un golpe? Bueno, pues lógicamente este, el, el, la Comisión de Ataque de, de Nevada, este, el doctor hizo una constancia donde él decía que realmente estaba apto para empezar a pelear y eso, bueno, la Comisión pues es un punto importante, ¿no? Porque no, no, los médicos no van a hacer un veredicto solamente por... Sí, exactamente. Exacto. Entonces, bueno, lo otro es que he recibido golpes en este tiempo que he estado haciendo sparring. Eh, lógicamente no es lo mismo un golpe de una pelea, que un, pero he, he reaccionado bien. Incluso este, he evolucionado más todavía cuando empecé a entrenar más fuerte. Y bueno, eso es lo que me da la confianza para que no vaya a pasar algo bueno aquí. He said that obviously uh, there is requirements by the state of California and he passed every requirements by the doctor and he has doctor's notes that cleared him 100% to be able to fight again and that's what helped him get his license back here in California. Now with regards to the eye and being worried about taking a punch, he says that he's been training pretty hard. His sparrings have been tough. He started off a little slow but lately, you know, he's been, he's been in there testing it. And obviously it's not the same as being in a real fight, but he feels himself confident, personally, that nothing wrong is going to happen in the fight. Who does he want to fight at Featherweight? Who are the guys that he really wants? 